Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are outside and I just wanted to show you one of my cool growing benches. Everything's starting to come out of dormancy quite nicely here. And I got a couple of new orchids that I'm really excited about that I wanted to show you as well. But um, this is just sort of one of the benches I have outside. There's a few of them kicking around with all my um, temperate plants on it. Some of these plants can freeze, a couple of these plants can't freeze. But why don't we um, move in a little closer and get started on this sort of outdoor tour here. So this is one of my pots of Venus flytraps. Unfortunately, it's not doing anything yet. I just got these last year, so they were small, sort of unrooted um, plants to start with. But let's just bring in a little closer. You can see some new growth starting to happen on these guys here. Oops, if we get this cobra lily head out of the way. They're just starting to um, come out of dormancy. There's some live sphagnum moss around the edges. It's just an experiment as well. That did go through the winter time outside here and it seems to be still green and surviving. So happy about that. And then of course you guys have seen my cobra lilies before. I'm gonna zoom you back out a little. They are definitely starting to break dormancy with their bloom spikes anyways. We have one bloom spike coming here. It seems like a little one that started pretty early. I am hoping for a few more to come as the weather gets a little bit nicer. I did trim them up nicely over the winter time, removed any dead pitchers, stuff like that. You gotta be careful not to remove too many pitchers on these guys as they don't fully regrow every year like say a Saracenia would where you can just completely cut it right off in most cases. But an assortment of sizes. And so this is just the leftover pitchers that have gone through the winter time. But they seem to be um, doing good. I'm really hoping, I cut off some huge pitchers. So I'm really hoping that um, they grow back nice and big again this year. Last year was the first year they had really, really big pitchers and were able to capture a lot of insects. And I was um, quite surprised they captured so many insects that actually, just like with the Saracenia, it killed the pitcher. They just, they just got so full. My two Cypripediums are really starting to do well now. My Kentucky Pink which had one on it last year, has come back with five. Woohoo! So that's awesome. And my Cypripedium email. Yeah, I think it had two on it last year. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on it this year. So not bad. Went from one to five and from two to ten. Back in the background here is my big um, Flava cross Oreophila. It's starting to just get some buds on it now. This one's gonna be an early bloomer. I've noticed a few buds starting on these guys, but you can see it just there. Instead of new growth being pointy, it's kind of round and nubby and it's just coming out. There's a few spots where we have some, some buds coming out. There's another one there. So. These guys will be starting to um, show signs of life soon, which is fantastic. And these guys here, I'll just bring you in a little closer, are my two new Disa orchids. I picked up these last week. A friend gave them to me. Thank you very much. These are awesome. Really excited to be growing them. So this time of year, they're outside. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with Disa orchids yet but my friend definitely does. He has dozens and dozens and dozens of plants. So he gave me sort of the spiel on how to grow them. So I can give that to you and hopefully, you know, you can watch these guys grow with me. Now he said, unfortunately, they're not gonna bloom this year. They're just too small, but they are going to get bigger than this, of course, as the summertime progresses. And they never like to dry out. And they just like, he's got them in a sphagnum perlite mix. So a very simple mix and Come fall, this main plant that you see now is going to start to wither back and die. And he said at that point, you want to actually uproot them and remove that plant that is dying back because it's just going to go rotten in the pot. By then, you'll actually have a bunch of offshoots that will be coming out around the plant. And he goes, those are what you're going to pot up for next year. They should be bigger than the offshoot that he gave me. Not in size now, but in sort of chromosome size. And they're going to grow bigger for the following year. But these guys like to be, I guess, repotted often. And unlike the Cypripediums who hate their roots disturbed, from everything he's told me and everything I've read, they don't mind their roots disturbed at all. And if there's any problems, just 
pot them up or unpot them, see what's going on, remove any um, dead or rotten parts. So these guys like it cold, they don't like it warm at all. So they're outside now. We have nighttime lows of about five Celsius. That's about 40, 43 Fahrenheit. And they will be fine. They're not gonna like the heat of summer, so I'll shade them for the heat of summer. And then in the winter time, I guess they're gonna live in the greenhouse. I think um, at this point the plan would be, I'm gonna repot them, just like you said, at the end of the summer, or in the, in the fall when they're showing signs that they're rotting. And I might just put them in the Velosa chamber, in the Ultra Highland chamber. That way they'll have lows of five degrees all winter and highs of about uh, 20 degrees all winter. And hopefully they'll do good in there. But anyways, super excited about those guys. If you don't know what a Disa orchid is, um, I'll try to put a picture on the screen now. They're beautiful, beautiful orchids. Uh, really looking forward to growing them. And really looking forward to updating you on growing them and their care. Really looking forward to um, doing an update on these guys too once I get a little bit further again. But anyways, that's going to be it for now. So I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.